What's up, YouTube? We got a really exciting video for you guys today. Um, we're here with Carrie and Barris from KB Reptiles all the way up in Canada. And uh, we're really excited to be with them because we we're supposed to be in one of their videos and be with them uh, videoing at their house. And it didn't work out uh, early in January. And now we're into this. So we're going to get to them a little bit better on video. And hopefully you guys will be uh, enjoying it. So stick around. So Carrie and Barrows, KB Reptiles, talk to me. Where did it all begin? I don't want no stone left unturned. The whole story. <laughs> Let's go. So, uh, well, that man to your left actually has a little bit to do with it. Well, okay. I'll, I'll start. <laughs> yeah, so, you can so the whole reptile. Okay, I don't know if you can hear this horrible noise, but my dog is in the room above us, like scratching the floor or something. So I'm sorry if that can you hear it? Nope, not really. It's fine. Okay, guys. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so I I've had reptiles like most of our fellow hobbyists. I've had reptiles like my whole life, and uh, Barrows has always had an interest. We both like our first jobs were working with animals, and and um, you know it just hobby passion that just continued. And then when we met, so we're both like you know we're blended family, and our our other significant uh, our significant our, others yeah our ex significant <clears throat> others yeah. weren't like in into the hobby so it actually like made it really hard to kind of continue on with like that passion stuff when you're not with someone who who enjoys the same same thing so yeah. anyways when we met and we each had some reptiles and then we you know got together then we had even more and we just started kind of building the collection and and it wasn't really until like we had no intention of youtube or like breeding or really anything it was just a hobby it was a passion just we, we liked all these animals and then it wasn't really until the crb that we met you ben that we were <laughs> like that's honestly that was kind of like the turning point like legitimately so for how things went for us i think so, we went there originally of course like most people do to go see brian barczyk yeah i mean yeah. he was gonna do his talk and we thought what a great opportunity for the guy who we've been watching his videos learning about the animals that we've been acquiring and adding to our, at that time, very small collection yeah. of just a couple of animals. And we're like, you know what? Why don't we go enjoy our time? We have never able to do this before. So we sat down in that talk where you had the microphone and you were going into the audience and asking people. <laughs> and I think we started talking about blue tongues. Yep. And then you and I got sidetracked talking about beard, beards. <laughs> and Brian was still talking. And he happened to make the comments out. out loud, calling us out. Yeah. Like, what are you guys talking about? Or something like that anyway. And then afterwards is when you and I continued <laughs> the conversation. Brian had come over and we were just in the midst of talking about, you were recommending highly this thing called Tinley. Yeah, to us we're like, what? yeah. like what's Tinley? Tinley? What's Tinley? <laughs> and you were yeah. like, it's like the Super Bowl of all the snake yep, shows. Yeah. Yeah, all the big guys yeah. go there. Like you have to come and visit and that was in september so you were telling us that this was in october and we we're like oh my god october chicago we're like, who cares we're, we're gonna make it happen we're gonna make it know? happen and that yeah. like us making that trip so meeting you and then like, us making that trip that's actually that trip is when we first met miguel actually so yep. it was just like a chain reaction of events after yep. meeting you and then we're like you know what like why why not share this passion with more people right and that like i said it was never really our our intent before it was just like we have these mm -hmm. animals we have kids that we wanted to be uh kind of growing up as with with the hobby because it teaches them responsibility and i want them to learn about that and the animals that we more keep than, and more just, than just video games yeah, and like get hands other on stuff and, like get dirty and get that, hands on learn responsibility yeah and so that was always just sort of our main focus and then mm -hmm. like i say we met you we met to tinley met miguel and he's like why don't you guys start a youtube channel oh god and we're like what so we're like we, <laughs> yeah he interviewed barrels so, uh, let me tell you <laughs> let me tell you this story so we were standing in line to see brian there was one person in front of us and then i heard this voice behind me and i go to carrie oh my god i know this dude behind us and she's like who's that and I said, it's this Miguel guy from Always Above the like, Python. Who? And she's like, who? Like BFF uh, right now. And at the beginning, she was like, who? And I'm like, yeah, I, I've watched like from his second video on. This guy's pretty cool. And he heard me say his name. 
So he said, hey, can I talk to you for a sec? And we ended up talking and he recognized our, what we think, or he said that we have an accent. I don't know where from. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't hear it, but. So I don't know what you're like, talking about. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, eh? So uh, we started talking. He said, do you mind me putting you in our video? So I was like, oh man, YouTube? I was like, this is crazy. So he pulled us aside and we did an interview. And I'm telling you, I didn't remember our business name. I didn't remember our Instagram, <laughs> didn't remember our Facebook. So Miguel's like, don't worry, let me work with it. And I just, 20 minutes went by and I couldn't live with myself. So we searched them, hunted, found him again and said, yo, can we do that over again? He's like, you know what? That might be a good idea. <laughs> friendship, honestly, that friendship honestly built from that second meeting. Yeah. And then we just exchanged information, yeah. said, let's stay in touch. And now to this day, it's yeah, constant so it's battle just, with him. So yeah, so yeah. Ben, thank you. Because it really, yeah. that meeting you in toronto <laughs> however many years ago that was yeah. now was really the start of it for us as to as to taking it to this point and sharing it with everyone yeah. so thank that's you that's so funny I, I mean i feel a little bit bad because like you started at the top and then you started like spiraling down like <laughs> Miguel and ryan and you know like all these you know. <laughs> yeah no, just, like, like, honestly just the like, experiences <laughs> the experiences that we've had since this has all started has been yeah. absolutely mind blowing oh, yeah. like just from meeting some of the people we've met to get to hang around with some of these guys to some of the animals we currently have in our collection it's bigger yep. than probably we ever thought it could be and we just see it like climbing and climbing still yeah. hopefully and it's awesome to be able to share that so that's great and now you're like the face of reptiles in canada like that's yeah. ridiculous that was just that was just weird though yeah. because so like our well, even now, it's not like we have like a huge YouTube channel or anything, but we were at one of the expos oh. just vlogging <laughs> and they were like, Grant, the yeah, yeah. Owner, was like, I need to talk to you guys, but not in here, out in the hall. We're like, oh, dang, like we're going to get in trouble for something. Right. And he's like, I would really like for you guys to be the like face of the reptile expo. And I want you to host it. He's like, I'll talk to you guys more about it in detail, but would it be something you guys would be interested in? We were like looking at each other like, what? Like who us? Like why? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, it's been an awesome experience, and uh, you know we're thankful for the fact that we can do that. It's unfortunate right now, of course, with everything going on that all that yeah. has come to a halt. But um, we just actually had a meeting with everyone that's involved with the one expo, of those, like, a Zoom, Zoom meeting. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know everyone's staying positive and looking forward to things getting back to to normal at some point and get right back on it. So yeah, that's okay. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's really exciting. I mean, it's, uh, I, when, when we first saw you guys, like when we're like looking, you're like, Oh, the guys, you should go to the expo and whatever. And we looked up the expo. We're like, that's kind of embarrassed. Like, Main Street, like it was like real big, and I was like, "Wow, those guys are! All I can't believe it! I know those guys!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's crazy. Like, um, you know, and it's cool. And basically, like, everyone's like, "Well, what do you do?" We're like, "We just like talk to people, and yeah, that's just blast. awesome." And we have yeah. so much fun, and you know, we get to talk to the different vendors there, and it's really been great to see um, the Canadian hobby. I shouldn't say the Canadian hobby, but like Toronto and, and Ontario, and yeah. I you know, our, our hobby here grow a little bit. And we've definitely seen that happen in the last mm -hmm. little while because um, it's it's very different than here than it is in the US. And um, it's it's cool to see people getting excited. And like now when we do shows, people like will come and find us and they want to show us what they bought. Maybe it's like a, mm -hmm. you know, 12 year old kid with their parent that wants to show them that first like, you know, press a gecko or whatever it is that they've bought. And, and it's really cool to see that excitement from from people, oh, yeah. and, um, you know, get to talk to some of the awesome the vendors at our shows and well, people that we didn't say. even know that were there. I was going to say, honest. I think our position fast tracked us into meeting the full like Ontario hobby in Canada because at the time when we started, we didn't really know a lot of the Canadian breeders, collectors, hobbyists. Yeah. And getting to the position that we were in, it fast tracked us to like meeting everybody talking to them face to face some of the guys we've interviewed was the first time we had ever met them some of them even heard oh, their wow. names and then next thing you know we go to expos and now these people are friends with us and donating stuff or we're giving stuff to them and we're talking and we're we're collecting information from each other and helping each other get in contact with different people and there's some guys that have been in this hobby here in canada for like 15 20 30 years and it's just like 
great to see the 20 plus year guys interacting with the, the five year people. and under yeah. guys and mm -hmm. sharing experiences. Yeah. Us. It's really, it, yeah. it, it's, it's a strong hobby. Yeah, it's, it's definitely growing for sure. And just like the connections are, are growing, cool. which is awesome. So. Hey, growing the community is key and you guys are oh, doing a great oh, job. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. All right, so I've been seeing on your video some of the awesome Ultramel stuff you got going on. Mm -hmm. and we love Ultramel too. What? Give us the inside tip. What's your strategy on Ultramel? Uh, Ultramel everything. Uh, <laughs> that's, every my, time. that's my philosophy. Ultramel to everything. <laughs> yeah. so we started off with Ultramel. I think we started off simple. So we just tried to get some of the. Well, let's let's actually tell the whole story. Our very first Ultramel clutch ever oh, was with so a friend of ours, Tyler. He, um, yeah, yeah. We bought, we bought like a incubator or something off of him. Yeah. And this is like From, we were just like kind of starting out. And he was like, you know what, guys? I, I really like you. And he goes, I have this this breeding pair of head Ultramels. I'm just going to give them to you. We're like, wow. Ultramel. We're and like, I was like, okay. What is that? And we, we bred them, had a clutch, and we had hit like four Ultramels. And it was, I had never actually seen an Ultramel That's cool. in person until That's that awesome. clutch. And as soon as we saw those, we were like, we need this gene in like everything, everything. possible. And so it's that's where it started. And now, I mean, obviously, as you know, it does take some time, but we're getting to the point yeah. where we're definitely getting it into more genes now. We're really excited to see where, where it's going to go. go. Yeah. Yeah. And that was Tyler from Tower Reptiles? No, no, no this is Tyler a lot of roots. Yeah. So somebody totally oh. different than Chris Towers. Oh, but Chris uh, Towers. yeah, he was just one of those awesome guys <laughs> that did a pay it forward. And he was like, two hats, she produces every time. Just take them, and one day down the road, I'm sure you'll do the same thing. And funny enough, we have done, in remembering that, I think every year we do at least one or two pay it forwards where we take a snake out of our collection, and we're just like here to a close friend or to a fellow hobbyist and go, I know you're working with some stuff. Why don't you take this and see how it does for you? It's a, it's a good feeling to know that hopefully somebody back. helped us and we're hoping to help somebody else down the road mm -hmm. and the ultra Mel ball python gene is what started it that's, that's awesome yeah that's amazing so, why don't you show us some you know what yeah i can grab Maybe some okay. yeah let, i'll be yeah. right back all right so all right. right here is a ultra Mel lemon blast oh where am i going here an ultra Mel lemon blast yeah nice and we also, so he, <laughs> this guy, okay, get him up. Remember he said we can do like B-roll? Yeah, there? we'll have B-roll. Okay. So this guy, oh, where did you guys go? I miss, oh, there you are. It was because Barrows was taking up all the camera space. Um, so he's- oh, Well, Barrows we finally said something, so we just wanted to get him on camera, you know? Oh, I, <laughs> I know. He gets mad at me for talking too much, but- That's what Ryan does to me. Me and you are like the same person too. What are you talking Bring about? Bring the ultra pie. Well, we don't need to actually bring it, right? Because we you got an ultra pied. No het pied, sorry. Uh, okay. We're gonna, but it's a breed of female. Uh, oh, it's awesome! Wow. Right? Breed of female pied het ultra male. And then oh, we've got oh. actually a quad het that's going to her. So. Oh. It's quad uh, het what? It's um, it's quad het ultra male pied genetic strength enhancer. Wow. wow! So you're gonna have to say all that again. Okay, okay, so real quick, this female right here is a key to a oh, this is a key to a project that we're doing. Ultramel head genetic stripe. I like that he's doing it because we actually can react to it. So yeah. oh, cool. that's awesome. So, so that one, yeah, Ultramel genetic stripe. Head genetic stripe. Sorry, head genetic stripe. I keep saying, I'm forgetting the head part, but it's a yeah. head genetic stripe. And um, so obviously, genetic stripe is another gene that we work with which is why we got this quad head and yeah. um so yeah it's quad head ultra male pied genetic strength enhancer yeah that's awesome the so, enhancer gene's real cool we're excited yeah and you know we're we we have we don't have any other enhancer we have dg which i know there's mm -hmm. some talk about you know is it the oh. same is it whatever i don't i don't know but you'll find out yeah, this particular quad het is het enhancer. Um, so we're excited to get him to that het uh, ultra male. Oh my god, we're excited 
to get him to the pied head ultra male female. So this is what That's happens great. when she thinks and talks at the same time. Thinks, yeah, <laughs> I know. There's too many genes I was talking about. I was getting you. Confused. You think that's bad? We had to do a. I so Ryan, he's <laughs> he's better at the genetics than me, and I'm I'm not bad, but he's better than me at the genetics, and um, we're doing. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go through all of the females that we have that are uh, either um, ovulating or close to ovulating, yeah. and we'll just say what what the female is, and then what and show the female, and then say what we bred to, to her. and one of the pairings, you can't even remember one of the one of the pairings. <laughs> Is a uh, oh, let me do it for you. <laughs> I, I remember the male, it's a fire spot nose, double head grail, possible head holy grail is the male, Jeez. and the female is a uh vanilla OD leopard faucet clown. So the pairing potential is the OD vanilla cream, um, clown ba essentially Batman. Yeah, yeah, right. And then it could also be het for Holy Grail. Dude, that's we had to we had to do like six takes for him to be able to say. Oh, it. Yeah, I it's, don't doubt it. I it's can't, a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot to say. That's a okay. Say. And you know what? Barros is making fun of me, but in the video that we just did, we were talking about our cinnamon exanthic het pie. Yeah. And he, and that took about six times for him to say that. Because right. I kept wanting to say Marcus Jane, because it's an MJ Xanthic, not a VPI. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I kept wanting to say. He was like, MJ, het Xanthic. But I'm like, it's not het Xanthic. The thing's like a black snake. It's Xanthic. <laughs> oh, yeah. MJ Pi. No, no. <laughs> I, like, I got it. It, I got it. it happens. So <laughs> he has no room to talk. He's the same way. But um, getting back on the ultra male thing, I was just saying to Barrow that I wanted him to go get the Mojave ultra male that we hit this last season, but she's yeah, in yeah. shed. But oh. that's another. We'll we'll send you a clip of her. But she is uh, she's, she's awesome. Yeah. I'm really excited to get more more genes involved with the ultra male. Like I know they're yep. out there, obviously, but a big one for us definitely is like ultra male clown. Oh, so, they're so yeah. great. So they are I so love great. Ultra male clown. And it was like one day I was like, oh my gosh, like, uh, like, can you picture Ultra Male Clown? And of course, like the next day I said that, then someone like posted a ton of pictures about of them. <laughs> but I was like, they're even better than what I had imagined. So like, I cannot should, wait. Have you seen them in person? Not in person. No. Oh, uh, they're amazing. Before. So I can, yeah, I can only imagine. Like they look That's so good in pics, yeah. I can't. Even yeah, we we are definitely going to be shooting for them soon because uh, we have a friend of ours that's near here that we did a video with. He's like, oh yeah, this is a, an ultra clown that you know is in shed, and we're like, Whoa. even in yeah. shed, it like was mind blowing. Yeah, crazy. I, I can't yeah. even imagine. We do have so that lemon blast ultra male that we showed you has been pairing up to one of our clowns, and she looks like she's just about ready to go. So we're really excited yeah. to get double hats out of her. I mean, obviously we're still a ways away, and if yeah, something, you know we if say we purchase something in the meantime, so be it. But we're excited to start making some double hats, anyways. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, what else do we have with the Ultramel project going? So we've going got on? a Hat Red Exanthic Hat Ultramel going nice. with that Lemon Blast because I want to see what the Hat Red Exanthic does with Ultramel, whether it changes the color, whether it messes up the pattern a little bit. Mm -hmm. so I'm excited to see that. Um, we've got some more Orange list. Dream Ultramel stuff, stuff going this going year. Yeah, Ultramel, that's great. Which, which turned out cool. awesome. Like last season, we got the Orange Dream uh spider ultra male i mean i like yeah. the spider gene like i tr i personally really like it um but of course it's kind of a strong gene so when you get that in there it's sort of like you know yeah you get a lot of spider stuff some of the potential with it though is ridiculous especially oh, super yeah. od spider stuff like well and that's what we did an yeah. od spider ultra male if that wasn't in shed i could grab it too so we'll send you some b-rolls yeah. hopefully they'll shut out in the next little bit here but yeah, yeah. The, the color on that and the whites it's up the like side and everything yeah. look amazing. Yeah. Like it's really I can't sharp. imagine I can't imagine super OD to that. Like yeah. that would just be insane. Um that'd be great. No, we got the pied stuff going with Ultra yeah. Mel, the genetic stripe stuff trying to go with Ultra Mel. And then we've done some simple stuff. So we have that lemon blast going with a Mojave head Ultra Mel. I want to yeah. do some past obvi stuff. Like I just wanna I wanna see the simple genes, but then I also want to see the more complicated stuff with it and then down the road, just keep putting it all together and see what happens. Yeah, but I, I yeah. love the gene, and I think it's like... Oh, we did do that pairing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did So do that. we did do um, a pewter, or no, Mojave pewter scaleless head 
to a female ultra male. Oh, that's great. Wow. Yeah. So we're just, we're just sort of <laughs> like, I'm sure you That'll saw be interesting. That. Yeah. yeah. So I know you, like, obviously we got into the scaleless uh, project. So we are like, you know what, let's start kind of building our way towards potentially like scaleless ultra males down the road. So, yeah, yeah. so hopefully she'll go and hopefully we get a couple of scaleless heads out of that clutch and that it will obviously all be um, all head ultra oh, we've, awesome. got a, we've got a leopard going with an ultra male pinstripe. Mm -hmm. So I like leopard ultra males. Cool. Leopard yeah. ultra males are awesome. Leopard ultra yeah. males. So that's another goal down the road. Yeah. yeah, those are the probably ultra male projects we have right now. Mm -hmm. And you guys have a leopard um, head sunset that you're going to be going to stuff, right? That's what I heard. Yeah. So We're that, on the street. So <laughs> that, that was some. So, yeah. In Arlington, you know Miguel, right? Like, yeah. Director. And so he was like sitting, like I don't even know how far away from me. I'd say it was a good ten. I don't. Feet. Yeah, it was. A, it wasn't quite a ways. And he was like, "Carrie, Carrie, he's like, if I get this beer cap in your wine glass, I'm gonna send you a snake." I'm like, if you get this beer cap in my wine glass, like you're, I'm gonna hold you to this. Like, you know, he's <laughs> like, yeah, and he's like, clink, clink, like right in the glass. We were like, oh, yeah, that, yeah, it was hilarious. So sure, we're like, yeah, whatever. Sure enough, he's like you have a package coming in the mail. Like, oh my gosh. And I couldn't even believe, like we don't have any sunset stuff yeah. other than that one that he sent us. So now we're like, okay, we might be in the market to get uh, <laughs> down, the, <laughs> down, down the road. Cause as soon as that happened, I won't lie to you. We probably had a dozen messages of people going, so are you looking for sunset yeah. female? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hold on. We will be. We will be for sure. Be, He's yeah. not quite ready to breed anyways, yeah. but we do have a couple of, uh, snakes that we're going to put to him anyways and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. toss heads and stuff but um that's great that was so cool like that he's such a good guy right like he I mean, is yeah he's it was very just a generous. joke but yet he's still yeah. like i mean man of his word yeah no he's oh, yeah. great Absolutely. yeah so. so so what other uh species of animals do you guys keep huh so you know what that's why we set up in this room so we wouldn't forget so we're currently in our reptile room so right now like i look to the left and we have boas if you watched one of our last videos we mm -hmm. did a, a recap of our boas that we have in our collection we have some colubrids so we have milk snake corn snakes hog nose uh rainbow boa or no that's, a, that's one of the boas here. That that, that, sorry. i'm just going down the list of the tree i see right here um, we have some chameleons in this room we have some euromastics in the room we have a cane toad yeah. Uh, hey, so was. Was. Got your own little dragon. reptarium going on there. Yeah, we've oh, got gosh, yeah. Uh, the little like chameleon geckos. We have a little savannah monitor. We have Chihuahua geckos behind us. Yeah. Oh, I love those. We love yeah, we did yeah. actually lay two eggs. We're excited about that. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that's yeah. congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. I just hate the wait. They're like, they're so long and I'm like so not patient. Like the ball <laughs> python. Waiting period drives me crazy, and these guys are even longer. So, like, it's yeah, yeah. And right to Carrie's right here, we have the blue tongue skinks. We have some Peter's banded skinks. Yeah. We have a black and white Argentine tagu out there. We've got our bigger Savannah monitor, Jeffrey, out there. Um, yeah, we've got tortoise. That tortoise that's free roaming, roaming around here. Tor yeah. Wow. So, uh, she free roams our reptile room. So, we kind of did it up where she has a kiddie pool with a basking spot and a UV spot. And uh -huh. then she has all her bedding in there. We have the bedding spilling out onto the floor. And then she has free reign of the rest of this room to just go around and enjoy. We have a couple what, little other basking spots in the room. So she yeah. can just kind of go and chill. So yeah, she Where, has a, What kind of uh, tortoise? This one is a red foot, but we actually do have a young-ish Salcata coming too. We adopted him from a yeah. rescue, but That's just so with everything going on, we were supposed to get him at the Montreal show uh, that was supposed to be in March, but of course with everything that show So was that canceled, Montreal so. show was supposed to be two weekends after we all saw you guys at the Reptarium, yeah. the Tinder. Yeah. 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 Mm. There's actually, there's an awesome reptile rescue in Ottawa it's called, uh, called Reptiles Rock. Okay. Uh, and I was thinking, was there more to that? But I think it was it. And uh, that's actually where we got our big Savannah monitor from too. And Tom, the guy who runs it, is just awesome. He's a school teacher, but he runs this whole um, reptile rescue, like just out of pocket. It's not profit at all. Like he's just such an awesome guy. And uh, so we like to help him out when we can. And uh, so that's where the Sokata is coming from. And then this, the big Savannah that we have. So it's pretty cool. That's so cool. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. the reptiles. That's so. the reptiles. Well, we have parrots and sugar gliders, chinchillas, Sugar oh, wow. gliders, yeah, Ooh, in the right mind when it's sugar glider. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, they're like little insane animals. I love yeah, they them, are. they're crazy. Crazy, 
everybody's so like they're so cute and i'm like yep they're so adorable, <laughs> but like that, like that's it. Like, that's really. it. You get any sleep at all? Like everybody says they're so noisy at night. Do they? They're, they're, they're noisy like, at you night. can never like if you say we're like, you know, planning on keeping them in your like bedroom or had like an apartment or something like, uh, like a one really, bedroom, a one bedroom bachelor apartment for oh, somebody. It would be hard to you're do. you're not keeping them for long. <laughs> like about, they yeah. bark, they chirp. Yeah. <laughs> They're, they play with toys like they've got like little opposable thumbs right so like they pick things up and they carry they clanking toys around they're like yeah mm -hmm. they're loud but like, i'll tell you we'd probably get a dozen more i love them. She loves them like yeah. they're so cute i actually i take them to work with me and stuff and they're a little like bonding pouch but yeah yeah wait you know, so so let me get this right you have these uh parrots and some and you wanted us to yeah. sleep at your house <laughs> I, I feel like we would have. Feel like we would have gotten no we sleep. Rolling. Right here where we're standing, you are gonna roll right out here in the bags in the reptile room. It's nice, it's nice and warm yeah. in here, anyways. Yeah. I could go <laughs> right under the basking lamp. Yeah, right there, tortoise nibbling on your ear at night. You would have loved it. That's, That's perfect, actually. Yeah, I'm in. Dream come true. <laughs> but, they, but yeah, the the parrots are definitely like my yeah. thing. Um, We've got uh, we've got an African gray, and we've got a little Senegal parrot, a couple cockatiels, and awesome. a big uh, scarlet macaw too. So wow, yeah. I love scarlet the macaw. Oh. And we forgot our iguanas upstairs. Oh yeah, we've got two iguanas as well. Yeah. I forgot about them. They're not down here. <laughs> yeah, they're upstairs. Yeah. The list keeps growing. What the? Heck? Yeah, like, is there anything else? You guys got us <laughs> crushed on this. There's more. Oh, we've somewhere. got three cats and two dogs too. Yeah, they're they're. They're like little and, people, though. And the right. the most expensive part of your collection are that I, how many how many kids do you have? Five. <laughs> see, yeah. I knew that. And see, see how this goes together? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the, the best part about it is, so my daughter just turned thirteen, and then my son is thirteen. They're eleven months apart, and yeah. then we have a ten year old, eleven year old, and then soon to be 14, fourteen year old. Yeah, so they're oh. like. Wow. So in, yeah, at one point, like Brutal. in a year, they'll be um, 11, 12, 13, no, sorry. 10, 11, 10, 11 12, 12, 13, 12, 13 14. 14. So they're all yeah. like right in a row. That's my brothers and I are the same, but there's only three of us. <laughs> I have a 13 and 15 year old, and I want to chuck myself out the window. <laughs> <laughs> like, all of these kids turning into like their preteen years right now. Yeah. Dude, the smells, the noise, the everything. <laughs> the <wine laughs> it's very costly. You know? You're telling me. <laughs> That's so but funny. I'll tell you, now that they're at the age where I can put them to work, I don't have to shovel the driveway as much, cut the grass yeah. as much, clean up dog food as much. And you guys want yeah. stuff, you guys got to work and for it. And to be honest, That's we good. actually try and get them involved with this as yeah. much as possible as well yeah they've been to so when we do any of the not so much the birthday parties but the educational stuff that we do if mm -hmm. it allows us to have two or three of the kids with us we'll actually bring them as little helpers put on a kb sure. shirt and yeah we'll actually walk around with some of the animals that we know are 100 percent safe and just show little kids or show other people what these animals are like and kids find that i think a little bit more um ease of mind when they see one of our kids walking around with a corn snake or one of the ball pythons and or one of the euro mastics and going okay so this animal is probably not going to do anything bad to me yeah oh that's so awesome yeah. that's yeah. cool man that's and really i kind cool. of want them to be like to respect everything and just to you know learn that responsibility and it's and it's it's really cool to see that how it has grown over yeah. the years with them like you know, we actually, funny enough, when we go away, so whether it's Arlington or Tinley or Brian's or wherever, we actually get my kids to come in and look after everything. Yeah. So it's nuts because people are like, well, who looks after your, like all of your animals? We're like, well, the kids do because you can't, it's one thing to like ask a neighbor or something to come and let your dog out. But we've got like a whole basement full of reptiles and even though things are on timers, whatever, we still have to get, you know, Things need to be checked they just, on. Things they understand what to look for. Yeah, they know yeah. Something, if there's like a heat lamp out or something. They know how to change that, where we keep the extra bulbs or yeah. like whatever Water the Water dishes that have spilled or, or if something, something doesn't look right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They can like recognize if maybe there isn't something, you know, goat that doesn't look quite right and they yeah. can let us know. So it's pretty cool that, you know, at their ages that they can, they can help us out that much yeah. with everything. So That's great. That's yeah. awesome, man. 
So thank you so much, guys, for joining us on this uh, episode. We love having you. It's a shame yeah. we don't get to hang out more often. Uh, we got miles in between us, but yeah. the internet's looking us up here. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you guys so much. I mean, yeah. it's awesome every time we see you guys. We love chatting with you, and we really appreciate you guys taking the time to have us on. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. So, so if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. We're going to leave their link down in the description. You got to go see their channel, subscribe to them. And uh, yeah. Uh, anything else? Comments? Comments? Stay safe. Stay safe. It's going off for everybody's doing good. Yeah, stay safe. Everybody stay safe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Barrows. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, all right yeah we'll we'll do this video and then we can talk a little bit after it's fine yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know we love you guys um all right so i'll do an intro i'll bring us in and then uh bring us in because i screwed up the last one that's fine it's fine <laughs> you didn't what way off the rails right ryan, ryan sometimes he'll be like he'll like start off real good and then he'll like i don't know like what happens but he like starts second guessing it or something and he's like there's somebody on my six. I took heavy fire. Things started going <laughs> I got someone the exact same. You are same. not much different. I don't. I can oh do it in one gosh. take. Yeah, I bet. But You're I perfect. Do like, I do like your blooper idea that you guys do in your videos. We've yeah. talked about it so many times, but because I always do my part so perfect and she does. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the blooper that always That's a real so hard place to be. <laughs> Look, we appeared like oh, you can't help but have that's confidence. You know what honestly, I mean? I love watching the bloopers out there. I okay, when I'm editing, since you know I like edit our videos, I'll yeah. be like, what was this? And and he'll like be saying something or he'll say it the wrong way, or he says it like multiple times or whatever. And he's like, I don't know. Or if he's the one doing the filming, I'm like, what were you even like what were you even trying to record here? And it's like he <laughs> or something stupid, right? But it's like <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. He's like, I'm trying a different angle and like 1800 <laughs> clips of his. I love trying different angles. <laughs> You're right. There's sometimes, man, Ryan. He I'll gets get real mad at me because all of a sudden I'll be like real low down on the floor. He's like, What are you doing, man? I'm like, I, it looks great. Go ahead, go do it. You look you look giant right now. <laughs> it's that Jay, it's that Jay no, Tomsky. No, That's but it. no, no, but Jay yeah. is very creative and artistic. So very Ryan's cool. very creative and autistic. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I did a very, I did like a, a, a video for my not niece. represent r and uh, I did a video for his niece's baptism like a few weeks yeah. ago. Well, multiple weeks ago now, a couple months ago, I guess. Mm -hmm. And he was doing some of the recordings. I was taking pictures. And as I was editing this video, there was like 35 clips that all started with him recording through like, like say someone was taking a picture with a cell phone. And so it started with him recording that into like the actual like shot. I'm like, yeah. what the hell is that? Like, every single one is it like, oh, it's a good so you are trying to shut down my creative <laughs> That was ideas. pretty cool. No, not that sounds when every, cool. Not when every shot is like that. Maybe like one, but when every single shot but starts I didn't off, know which one we were gonna use, oh, so I please. just did it for all of them. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Anyways. <laughs> These guys okay. know what okay. is, man. Uh, yeah, that's true. You do know B rolls. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, hey, me and Carrie are gonna I, I just, like this. I just asked him if he knew what 720p was, so <laughs> it's a great on toilet paper. I don't know anything less than 1080, okay? Oh, <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. So now that, that Barris is out of the picture, yeah. um, I have some questions. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, with real, Carrie. real talk with Carrie. Yeah, well, there we go.